Merry Christmas, nerds. It's still Christmas as I uh, film this, and maybe it's still Christmas as uh, I post it. And uh, although I had a lot of things that I wanted to talk about, um, I finally got to a point where I want to talk about something kind of personal uh, <clears throat> and friendship. And it technically does have a lot to do with this channel and the reason I do it because of, uh, you know, like nerdiness and uh, like really uh, seeing it and expressing it and, uh, and it feels weird to say, but like living with it, you know, um, feeling like you're not gonna change and that's okay. Like people will tell me, you have probably told you at some point in your life, if you think you're a nerd or have been considered a nerd for a while, then like there are certain things you're gonna grow out of or you are either undisciplined or uh, immature because you like certain things. Funny because one of the people who uh, pushed me the most to be confident about who I am in that space, uh, a kind of friend that I haven't known for a super long amount of time, uh, like basically told me, "Hey, um, even though you have a um, like an excited veneer and uh, you like stuff like Pokemon and whatnot." Uh, and you wear a dinosaur hat most of the time does not mean that you're not like a uh, responsible, mature person who can handle this shit. Uh, and it's funny because living in LA, uh, a lot of times you don't know who to trust. And I don't mean that in like a super backstabby way, but uh, I'm sure that anyone who's lived here for a while who isn't from here has some sort of experience, at least uh, within my generation, I'd say of like people flaking a lot and i know that happens everywhere but i don't know i've i've talked to people that i know that aren't from here and it's just like oh man california's full of flakes and i don't think that that's the thing but i definitely think that um in california a person's gonna judge your worth very quickly uh and people are very dismissible it's hard to not be dismissible when there's you know so many so many homeless and you can't put your attention on on it even if you really want to because as soon as you get like sucked into it or like unless you just, like I don't know go to a soup kitchen every Thursday it's kind of overwhelming but I digress the reason I made this video is because of friendship and friendship and being a nerd uh, is very important because at least for the people who didn't adopt nerd because uh, they they thought it was something that uh, could uh, gain them friends, gain them popularity, or look cool. Uh, people who like had that word thrust upon them, not really identifying with it at first, or anything like that. Uh, keeping friends is hard. Keeping friends is hard as hell. Uh, getting friends is hard. Uh, getting someone to see past uh, that maybe a certain awkwardness or uh, a social anxiety is one thing. But um, I think it's funny now because so many people uh, identify as nerds and so many people are like, I'm a nerd, uh, that not everyone has that shared experience anymore. Uh, at least it's not as common. And so the the reason I'm saying all this is that sometimes you'll see someone and they'll be wearing like the shirt from your favorite show and you'll see them and you'll say I think I really want to know that person because you feel like you have that great thing in common especially if that thing is something that's like imparted some sort of knowledge with you something that you feel has bettered your life you know and sometimes Star Trek or Doctor Who or Dragon Ball Z or Pokemon did that for you and that's okay of course it's okay and sometimes you see a person and you're like they like that same thing I do they must have those same values but unfortunately you're wrong you don't know that they might share one you don't you they might like it ironically <laughs> you never know but even if you really really enjoy something doesn't mean that someone else who really enjoys that same thing uh, is going to be a positive effect on your life so technically I'd say this is a message to people who who see nerdy things and it's like, oh, I have that in common with a person, let me pursue that friendship automatically. And I know that that's a very easy trigger because 
you go to anime convention and it's like oh look my kind everywhere um but if you notice all those fun phone numbers you get usually you don't uh end up talking to those people for very much longer and i don't mean to say the people that you meet in certain spaces can't be great friends what i'm saying is it's hard to have people stay in your life especially in this day and age and if you really need me to explain what i mean by that in terms of like technology and social media then you're in the wrong place um so so i have a friend that uh was very nerdy and uh i thought they were gonna continue being my friend and they didn't and they were it was very easy to drop me and then i had a friend that struggled with being my friend and was nerdy and they stopped being my friend uh because they felt that it was uh that we weren't clicking and that it was just going to make us both miserable and then recently I had someone that I wanted to become a friend that I knew in a professional sense that says as long as we have this professional relationship we can't actually be friends basically but they reached out to me as a friend and tried to give me emotional support but then when I found out that our professional relationship was ending that uh, continued actual friendship was a maybe on top of all the other stuff that I'm not even going to get into right now I just wanted two things it almost imploded my universe because sometimes people are special and sometimes it sucks to think or see or have any inclination that a person that you once thought valued you actually only kind of was amused or maybe that's all you can see maybe they see it completely differently but um i think i'll just wrap up saying um give people a chance but that doesn't just mean hold out for people. That means also give them a chance to show you who they really are and what they really mean. And as always, nerds, have a good night.